My name is Rod Toto and I'm a senior architect from the tech marketing team. And in this short video, we will discuss how to import and ingest third party feeds into Enterprise EDR. What is a feed? So on the Carbon Black console, a feed is a collection of actionable IOCs which have been put into a report format. Carbon Black Cloud comes with a number of built-in feeds, but also we've got the ability to import third-party threat intel. These feeds can be published to all public orgs in the environment, to a selection of reserved and managed orgs, or just to specific private orgs. With CBC, we've got that level of control. In the console, the feeds are watch list whose type is F, as per the screenshot on the slide. So what's a watch list? To use those feeds and that intel to report an alert, we must evaluate the IOCs against endpoint data. This is where watch lists come into play. So watch lists can be subscribed from a feed or can be created using existing reports or custom IOCs. Once created, a watch list can be edited in one of three ways. A new report can be added, existing reports in the watch list can be disabled or enabled, or the watch list as a whole can be unsubscribed to or disabled. And this is handy for tuning. Both feeds and watch lists can be managed via the API and the CBC SDK for Python. For documentation on this, please refer to developer.comblack.com. Now that we've got an understanding of what a feed is and what a watch list is, let's discuss how we ingest third party feeds. I've broken this down into three steps. Step one is to create an empty feed on the console ready to ingest IRC data from the subscribe threat intel. This can be done via the API or the CBC SDK. Step two is to subscribe to the threat intel feed and there's loads out there and usually when you subscribe it comes with instructions on how to use. In our demo we will be using limo. And step three is to configure the threat intel module to fetch, push and update the IOCs into you, our newly created feed. On the right of the slide, I have provided links to guides, which give us further detail on both the SDK for Python and our API. Let's run through a demo where we create a feed and subscribe and configure the Threat Intel module to populate our third party feed. Let's open up Postman. Okay, so in this demo, I'll be using a mix of environments, UI, API, and SDK to show the versatility we have when it comes to managing enterprise EDR. So step one was to create the feed, and this is what I'm gonna be using the API for. So in Postman, I'm gonna to post to the Carbon Black Cloud and create a new feed called VMware Sticks Demo. I've configured the owner and provided some info about the third party feed that I'll be importing. So you can see a summary and, and, and category that I've provided there. Okay, so when I hit send, you can see this is the this is the API um, post that we are running. Hit send, you will see that this feed already exists. So I, I've created this already, ready for this demo. Now that that feed's been created, what we need to do is get the unique feed ID this feed ID is what we use in the Threat Intel module. So to get that, it's another API call. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get all the feeds that are on my CBC console. So if I hit the send, you'll see I've got the results here down at the bottom. And you can see right there at the bottom, I have an ID um, for VMware uh, Six Demo. Just to confirm that that ID is correct, I like to run a get and specify the ID. Hit send there and you can see it's coming back with the correct details. Okay, so now that I've got that, um, I'm gonna be hopping over uh, to the SDK and configure the scripts to grab our third party IOCs. Okay, um, so you can see here, um, I have I have the environment configured now to do this i simply cloned the github repo let's take you to the the repo uh, which is here and you can see um simply by cloning this uh, in my environment 
have the entire thing stood up. So, if I run an LS up here, you can see it's um, it's similar. So if I just click into examples, enterprise EDR, threat intelligence, you'll see that that's been listed, listed there. Okay, right. Um, now that we've got it, we need to configure the threat intelligence module to fetch from our third party. To configure, we use the uh, the config file. Let's have a look at what we've got in here. Um, and you can see I've, I've started configuring some of this already. So um, let me get up the postman again. Um, and you'll see this is where we use the feed ID. You can see it's listed there. Okay, so that's exactly the same. Um, I've put a site address in for this example. We're using limo. Um, the discovery path, collection management, pool path. Now, this is stuff that's normally provided by the third party, so um, relatively simple uh, to configure. Um, then a little couple of tweaks I'm going to do um, just for the demo. Um, start date of when you want to start requesting the data. I've left that default. You can change that to 2021 so that it's more up to date. Um, what I'm going to do is the amount of reports to collect. Uh, I'm going to limit this. I'm going to limit this to a hundred, just so, or ten, just so that we get results uh, within this demo, right? So let me just write that file. Happy days, okay. Um, that's configured. So to configure, I needed the uh, feed ID and the provided threat intel detail URLs, collection paths, things like that. Um, okay, uh, now it's as simple as um, running the, the Python script. Now, um, this can be cron job. This We're doing it manually in the lab. But typically, you run this on a cron job daily, weekly, however many times you'd want your, your feed to be updated. Um, once the initial reports are down, the updates are only on um, the the posts are only going to be based upon updates of the feed okay um, so we can run that but while we run that I'm going to tail the logs just to make sure stuff's going on so let's do that um, let's before we do that um, I want to just show you in the report actually so let's go into the into the cloud console Let's show you the watch list in my console. So you can see down here, the watch list has been, uh, the feed has been created. Um, I'm not, um, I'm not, I'm subscribed to it, but the alerts are off and there's no reports within that feed, within that watch list. So I'm now going to go back over to my SDK environment, run Python. Yeah, I see some connections are going on there at the bottom. Um, no errors, which is a good thing. And that we just got to wait um, for the reports to populate for that to that to do its thing and then we'll come back and join but now that our script is completed let's look at the intel we received from the third party in the CBC console so you can see I'm logged into my console under enforce and watch list that's there is the new feed that we created the VOS sticks demo feed um, now, if you look into reports, you will see the uh, third party IOCs come through. So these are mainly IP based. It's That's just due to the, the feed that I subscribe to. Um, and now in the console, we can do some tuning, right? So we can edit this report, disable or delete, um, depending on, on what type of tuning we want to do. Okay. Well, thank you guys all for your time i hope this has been useful um, and subscribe for more helpful information on carbonblack.vmware.com